Welcome to Gistic Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the background color in Photoshop. Let's get into it. So you got to open up Photoshop, of course, and open up the image by pressing Control O or going open, selecting the image, opening it up. So you want to go up to select and then you want to go to focus area. Click that. Going to bring up this. Don't panic if that happens. You just want to adjust the in focus range. If it deleted too much your image, you want to drag it to the right and just keep adjusting it to your subject is back, but the background is gone. So there we go. And then you want to go select output to a new layer. Just press OK. So now we've got the background layer and the new layer. So unlock the layer by pressing the padlock. And then you want to go to the paint bucket or gradient, depending on what background that you do want. Uh, make sure the layer is visible because we are now editing the background. Then I press G on your keyboard. But if you want the paint bucket or gradient, if it's not selected, just right click over on the toolbar and then select paint bucket. That's what I'm going to use. And then change the color. You go down to the colors down here, click on them and you can set the color. I'm going to change it to orange. Press OK when you're done. And now you can go ahead and just click in the background. The tolerance was obviously not enough. So you can just turn up the tolerance and just click the background. Um, so there you go. The subject is now on a different colored background. And to change that background, you can just go back to the paint bucket or you can right click on the layer and go blending options and go color overlay. And here you can change the color. You can even change it to a gradient if you want. And yeah, that's about it. So if this video did help you, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well. If you haven't already got Photoshop, I've left the link in the description that will take you to the website where you can sign up and download it. Also leave in the comments what other Photoshop tutorials I should make. And that is it from me. Peace out.